worry so much about your success fail rate. Worry about whether or not you are the hardest working version of yourself possible, because that's what's impressive. All right, anyways, so I drilled some holes to attach the glove to the hand plate, uh, but to make sure that the rivets don't just pull right through the leather once you tug on it a little bit, I'm gonna make a couple of washers by just drilling a couple holes in the sheet metal and then cutting them out with tin snips. Then you put the washer on the rivet, cut a hole in the glove and put the rivet through it and the plate, and then duh, pop it. Then I epoxied this little metal piece onto the lower thumb just to protect it a little better and to make it look a little more complete. And now we're gonna get to work on the band brace. So I'm starting with this leather sheet that I got from a leather remnant pack from Hobby Lobby for $9. Definitely a lot more cost effective than buying a full size sheet online for upwards of 200 bucks. Alternatively, you can use canvas or any kind of tough fabric. What you're gonna do is measure the circumference of your forearm and your wrist. Cut it into a vaguely trapezoidal shape that fits on your arm, and then we're gonna use a grommeting kit to put grommets here, 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 and here. I didn't walk you through the actual process of the grommeting, because there's instructions inside the box, and if you're that helpless, I don't think you would've made it this far anyways. Uh, so now we're gonna work on the metal part of the bracer. Now cut out a trapezoidal piece of metal, again, according to the measurements that you took of your arm, drill some holes into it, and then bend it into a curve. You can use a vise for this. I'm doing that angle iron trick to make sure that I get a good straight bend across the whole entire length of it. I curved it, then I rounded out the edges so they don't poke you. I just cut them off with the angle grinder, and then I put these two bends in the corners, again, using the vise. Now we put the leather inside the curve, poke holes where you drilled the holes in the metal, and then just rivet the leather to the metal. Then just as a nice little touch, I'm putting these 5 16th inch nuts on the end of the rivets before I pop them. It's totally functionless, but it looks a lot better than this. Then I put two grommets on the glove and one on the bracer. I'm doing this so that you can go with or without the bracer or you can like mix and match gauntlets and bracers and whatever you want to do this just makes it so that the bracer is detachable and then finally after mounting a guard to make sure the string underneath here doesn't get cut your gauntlet and bracer are finished to string it up, just put both ends of whatever rope you're using into the two grommets that are on the glove, then put both ends into the one grommet on the bracer. Then when it comes out of the other side, then just weave it through those grommets that you put in the leather and then tie it off. So, I think it goes without saying that this is one of, you know, this is my most difficult build, uh, so far at least. Um, and if you're just getting into making stuff, I'd really suggest you start with something easier. but. Despite how really difficult it was uh, to design and make and everything, I still really, really enjoyed making it. And I, most of all, enjoyed uh, knowing that you guys are probably going to enjoy watching me make it. And hopefully making some of your own. Like, it, it makes me really happy when you guys show me stuff that, uh, that you've made from watching my videos. Uh, it, I just really feel like you guys are, uh, you know, I guess, learning things. It, it feels good to know that I'm teaching you guys stuff. Um, and obviously, sorry that the video took two weeks to come out. Uh, that's I know I'm, I know I was working really hard, but two weeks is too much. So I'm really sorry about that. I I'll, I'm gonna try to figure out how to work even harder. Uh, but like I was telling my uh, my patrons in one of the bonus videos, um, and this wasn't specifically to them. This was to all you guys. I just didn't happen to say it in uh, you know the regular videos, but. I have the option to just make piece of crap videos, like just put half of myself into it, not give my all, um, but I don't want to. Uh, you guys have stuck with me this long and I want to make things for you guys that are worthy of that faithfulness that you guys have showed to me. Uh, so duh, I'm not trying to tell you that I'm going to take two weeks on all my builds now but I'm gonna take as long as it takes to, to give you guys what you deserve. Um, so, it's, it's about 6.30 a.m. right now. I should probably go to bed. Oh, one more thing. I want to make the Z Knot shirts really, really soon. Um, but I don't really know how many of like what sizes to buy. So, if you guys, this isn't like an official count or anything, but if you guys could just go down into the comments right now and just like type in what what size shirt you wear, uh, just so I can see like how many compared to each other there are. I don't even know if what I'm saying is making any sense anymore. I don't even know if I'm awake right now, but 
yeah, if you guys could do that, then I should be able to order the shirts. I don't know, maybe by my next YouTube paycheck. So yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna go hibernate, and when I wake up next summer, I'm going to edit this and what? Upload it? Is that what people do after they edit things? Yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later.